Hello, hi, welcome to another dialog tutorial. Hope you're doing all right and hope you're okay. Today, I'm going to show you how to switch screens, you know, how to move from white mode to dark mode when you're building your app with a dialog. And this, this um, it's a current trend when it comes to app development that people are switching, people are allowing their users or, you know, app creators are allowing their users to switch from one mode to another, depending on the mode, depending on how they feel. Um, if you check out your browser, there is a dark mode now. If you check out your your favorite uh, mobile application, Twitter, Facebook, a dark mode now, and that's something that you want to you know add to your application. So if, uh, doing this on a dialogue is quite simple and straightforward. All you have to do is to create multiple screens, you know, create multiple screens of your application. That's what you have to do, and that's what most other apps does: create multiple screens of your of your application. So let's go ahead. So this is my home page and what I'll do is that I'll just you know duplicate my I just add another screen. This is the screen I'm gonna use as my dark mode. So I'm gonna add another screen, say add screen. Just call this dark mode. Great screen. So this is my this is my dark mode screen and this is the white mode. So um, I'm just gonna name this white white home. Or just white mode, yeah. I think that's that's right. White mode. Say done. And I would turn the color of this one to black. So just turn this one to black. It's same home screen, same thing. So just turn it to black. So this is black now, and this is my white screen. This is the default. This is this is the default. The white mode is the default. My users will will when they sign up when they sign up for the application login. This is the default. But you can you can add. A different screen entirely at the beginning say like an onboarding screen you know you can add um, so let me say introduction this screen uh, intro let me just call this intro so reduce the size and move to the other side so my intro screen I could I could allow users to I couldn't allow users to you know Pick a screen here. If you want it light mode or dark mode, then I will go ahead and duplicate the sign up login and all the other screens based on the user's choice. But we're just gonna we're, we're going to do it right from the home page. That's what we're going to do. So to do this, first thing first, we'll go to our database and add a, a new property and call it mode. That's what we call it. Add a new property, call it mode, M O D O, and say save. It's a boolean, so we choose a boolean, a true or false property. That's what we choose. The type here is true or false, a boolean. The reason why you're choosing a boolean is so that um, you want users to make an if yes or a no choice, and uh, if no or if yes choice. That's what you want you want them to do. Then after doing that, we'll go to uh, click on the plus sign, screw it downwards, then we we'll go to the marketplace. So what we're looking for, we're looking for a switch component. That's what we're looking for switch component just scroll down you find it somewhere in between so it's called a switch component yeah this particular component that's what we're looking for you just go ahead and install it so i have it already i don't want to install it but you can see right here it says installed don't forget as you're watching you can always you know subscribe and so that other persons can see this video now that you've now that you've installed it, you go to your go to your installed and click on switch. Put one here and go to the install again and pick another switch. So it's not so it's not the it's not a must that you must put it at the bottom here. I'm just doing this because this is an example. It's not a must. You can put it anywhere you want to put it, depending on your UI design. So depending on how you've designed it. So this, I'm going to change it from the main color to a different color. So this is my color for the dark mode. So the first, the first switch is to switch from the white mode to the dark mode. Why the second switch? The second switch is to switch from the dark mode back to the white mode, depending on the screen where you are. So let's configure the first one first. 
Log the users, removed. So when it's, <coughs> now it's switched on. So when we turn it, it's switched on, yeah? When it's turned on, when we turn it on, this is what we want to do. Add action, say link to dark mode. So remember, it is same screen, same home screen, same everything. And we'll just, let's just say transition, no transition, and say done. And click on the second one and say when it is switched off. Yeah, when it's switched off. Remember, the first one is when it's switched on. This other one is when it's switched off. So click on it and say link to a new screen. Link to white mode. Yeah, that's what you want to do. And that's all you have to do. Let's go ahead and preview our app. Click on preview. And just wait for it a little bit to load. I already have an account, so I'm going to say, uh, just log in with this, log in with this, say login. And you can see when we click on the switch, new mode. Click on the other switch. Oh, it's not returning. Uh, so, click on the switch. Oh no, let's go configure it back. Let's go back here. Let's click on this one. Click on this one. Delete this. And say, yeah, just go mode. And say, action, link to white mode. So let's try it again. Sign, uh, no, not sign up. So let's just, you know, try it again. So click on login. Let's see if it works. This time, you know, just check. Check. Should go to another mode. Uncheck. So. So this is the way, this is the way you would go from one mode to another one. So that's the way people, that's the way it switched. So we, we, you check and you uncheck the value. So when you check, it goes to another mode. When you uncheck, it goes to another mode. So that's the way to, that's the way to do it. Even when you're building a very complex application, when you're building a very complex application, that's the way you will, um, you will do it. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you know, to subscribe. Uh, this is a short tutorial. Next, I'm going to show you, um, I'm working on a tutorial. It's called how to build a job board. So I'm going to show you how to build a job board. If you're looking, you know, LinkedIn, LinkedIn has a job board and a lot of persons apply. Um, that's what I'll be doing next time. It's going to be pretty long, so I'm already planning towards it. So you should check back, uh, you know, just check back and you see that tutorial on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment. If you have questions, do leave your, do leave your questions below. Thank you so much.